Michael Rollins was still the day the earth stood still. Ooh. Fact is, there are people who are born that do not conform to the strict binary of biological sex and gender that you are so desperate to cling to. And it seems ludicrous to me that one would hear this information and then continue to believe there are only two sexes. Ugh. Blind faith at its worst. Uh, secondly, it confuses me as a lover of language. Constant objections I often hear are things like, These people are just making up a bunch of words. They're using words how they're not supposed to be used. 64 pronouns, that's too many. If we allow this to happen, what's going to stop people from identifying as tractors and fairies and dragons and shit? And these are, of course, super silly objections. For one, all words are made up. There are no words that exist as omnipresent beings outside the existence of humanity. Words exist because of us. I don't care if people are making up words. As you say, all words are made up at some point. The issue that I have is that pronouns were created for a reason. And that reason is so we don't have to know very much about a person in order to refer to them. Now, I suppose it might have been a bad idea to add a gender to pronouns in the first place, but at least we don't make objects into genders, like a lot of other languages. English is one of the few languages that doesn't do this. But when it comes to referring to people, we refer to people as male or female. This doesn't mean that the concept of male or female is rigid and binary and all of that, but the way the language is, is binary. And if we start to destroy the concept of a pronoun by making people memorize, you know, a dozen different pronouns, we have essentially destroyed a part of the language. Now, you can argue that, well, you know, it's just a change. Well, people need a sense of being able to look at others generically when it comes to language. When we start having to get specific just to refer to a person that we know nothing about, but now we have to dig into something about every person that we talk about in order to properly refer to them as the uh, pronoun they wish to be referred to as, this causes problems. And there are some places where businesses can get fined if they don't refer to someone as the pronoun they wish to be referred to as. There are places where people are potentially going to see jail time for this sort of thing. And I think that's outrageous. And I think it would be nice if you were to say, hey, yeah, I think it's kind of messed up for someone to be fined or see jail time over something like this. As a gay man, I would never, ever suggest that someone should receive a fine or get jail time for calling me a faggot. That is one of the most serious violations of freedom of speech possible. And it's happening when it comes to gender. This isn't a good thing. And this sort of thing builds up serious resentment towards transgender people. This is not a good thing. You are not going to force people to think differently. You're not going to force people to use different language. The people who do not want to use different language are going to have to eventually die out. That's the way that's going to have to work. I think about how difficult it is for some people who would use terms like, hey babe, hey how's it going honey? Usually, you know, when I've been referred to as those things, it's been by a woman, you know, in a workplace. And then she goes, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, please, please don't, uh, Please don't report me for this, please. I, I, I don't mean these thing, these terms as something negative. I, they're, they're, they're supposed to be you know, uh, terms of endearment, you know? But people will get offended at that. And if just things like that are really difficult for people, 
even though they're not trying to be offensive at all. But if those kinds of things are really difficult for people, then how do you think it's going to be when it comes to referring to pronouns that go beyond the binary that is an essential part of our language? I mean, if you want to completely change our language, you know, maybe you should be a little more blunt about it. Well, yeah, we we want to change English into something else. So if you want to refer to yourself as something other than male or female, fine. But once you start to demand and even threaten lawsuits or sue someone or uh, have someone see jail time because they didn't use the right pronoun, yeah, fuck you. That's what I've got to say. This is as stupid as if people were starting to get offended because, well, you know, there's there's several versions of the word the. And we're going to make up, you know, uh, there, there's, there's 15 versions of the word the. And if you don't use the right version of the word the, uh, you're going to get fined or see jail time. You see, that would, that would seem ridiculous. And this is just as ridiculous. One of the problems that's coming out of a lot of the shit that's being said at these colleges is it's a war on language. It's a war on the English language. You want to change words like racism, sexism to mean privilege plus power or prejudice plus power instead of just being what they've always meant throughout the history of the words. No, let's change those things so people can't have a conversation, you know? And with this, with this gender stuff, it's another war on the English language. Let's destroy the concept of a pronoun. No, let's not destroy the concept of a pronoun. Now, if people want to come together and agree on a non-gendered pronoun, one non-gendered pronoun for each way that it, that it gets used, then fine, fine. But that's not happening. And it seems to be splitting off into more and more and more and more pronouns. Okay, this isn't going to work. All you're going to do is build resentment. All you're going to do is piss people off. And all you're going to do is make people, quite frankly, become transphobic. Because they're going to be scared that something they're going to say is going to offend someone to the degree that they might get fined or some other legal action brought against them. Okay, this shit needs to stop. Either come up with a standardized word to use as a generic non-gendered pronoun or shut the fuck up. Seriously. So what is wrong with making up some new words to describe new things that we don't yet have words for? As we learn and discover more about the world, we're going to need new words to describe those new things that we discover. I would be totally fine with that. That's why I think we should use a different term than gender to describe this stuff. Personal identity and words associated with that and concepts associated with that should have different words. We should not use the word gender. And we certainly shouldn't destroy the concept of a pronoun to begin with. Pronouns are there to make it easier to describe a generic person, someone you know nothing about. Okay, that's what a pronoun is for. Once we start to have to do a bunch of research on a person just to refer to them, we have destroyed the concept of a pronoun. And why should it matter if there's dozens of new pronouns? Oh no, dozens of new words to describe dozens of new things. Oh, the humanities! Because there's a whole bunch of people throwing a tissy fit unless you use these new words. And in some places, people are being fined. It may be just businesses that are being fined right now, and it's not going to individuals. But if you don't think that's going to eventually come to individuals, if this sort of thing picks up some steam, I don't know what to tell you. This is a violation of freedom of speech in the truest sense. This isn't just about some online, uh, you know, some company uh, censoring someone online. This is about the government getting involved. 
and finding people and possibly getting people jail time for not using certain terms. Okay, that's fucked up. That is why people are pissed at this. It's one of the reasons why people are pissed at this. Now, there are obviously some people who refuse to accept the concept of transgender in the first place, and there's not really much you can do about them. But the others who are already on the side of transgender people, you know, you're, you're going to take them off of your side if you keep allowing them to be demonized terribly because they don't use the right words. You didn't use the right words. You didn't use the right words. I get so sick of that kind of argument. Pay attention to what people are trying to say. You know, intent? 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 Do you know what intent is? Intent? It all smacks to me of people complaining about something that has absolutely no effect on them. People being called bigots because they don't use zur or zim or bun self or all of these other words, right? Um, people getting called a bigot for not using the right words? Yeah, fuck that shit. That does affect people. Different people who are different from you, who want to do life differently from you, and that offends some people for some reason. Why does it matter to you so much if a person doesn't conform to the rigid gender identifiers? Straw man. People don't really give that much of a shit about people's personal identity. They don't. They care about what people do. Now, I mean, people have their own identity issues. Everyone has their own identity issues. But once you start to demand that other people refer to you as this or that, that's when things start to get kind of muddy. That are ingrained to us from birth by a culture that is obsessed with cramming people into tiny little boxes of conformity. Yes, that absolutely does happen in this society, but you're not going to solve that by demonizing people for not using the right words. Why does it matter to you if someone wants to be addressed as G or Ni or V or Spivik? Because when someone is called a bigot for not using those terms, those phrases, those words, um, yeah, it's a problem. Getting people to memorize other people's names is bad enough, but now people are supposed to memorize a bunch of things. Oh, 67, 72 uh, different pronouns that we're going to mem we're gonna have to memorize or we're a bigot. No, fuck you. I mean, I can understand not wanting to misgender people. Uh, not that that's what these motherfuckers care about, but why does it matter to you if someone self-identifies as that? The only people I see having a problem with those wanting to think of themselves this or that way are those that are bigoted against transgender people to begin with. To me, it's just the same as any other bigotry. People who don't like or are uncomfortable with other people who are different from them or different from the norm. Different culture, different race, different sexual orientation, different gender, whatever. When people discover that there are other people in the world who do life differently from them, it makes them scared for some reason and, and makes them feel like their way of life is in danger somehow. I agree with your general sentiment for the most part here. But in this case, people are being called bigots unless they use the right words. It's not mattering if they agree with concepts. No, they have to use the right words. And that's fucked up. And God forbid we allow these other people to be treated the same as us. Allowing women to vote? Society's gonna crumble. Allowing gays to marry? Society's gonna crumble. Allowing black people to sit at the front of the bus? Society's gonna crumble. Acknowledging that trans, intersex, and non-binary, etc. are just as human and entitled to their own identity as everybody else? Society's gonna crumble. <laughs> If you destroy the language of a civilization, it is quite possible for that civilization to suffer. Is the whole civilization going to crumble away? Probably not, but it is going to negatively affect it. Language is pretty damn important. Okay, so you don't want to accept that certain people don't conform to the traditional gender or sexual binary. Okay, well I don't accept your self-identification as a rational, skeptical humanist. You're an asshole and a terrible person who needs to stop letting faith govern their beliefs and get their nose out of other people's business.
And in the end, you're not just denying science or getting language wrong. You are denying someone's humanity. So if somebody says to me that my sexuality is not an orientation, that it's a preference, and that it's something that I chose, does that deny my humanity? They have a difference in opinion about, about sexuality. I think they're wrong. They're probably wrong. But does that deny my humanity? You are denying people who are different from you a part of their identity, a part of themselves that they had no choice in creating. When we further the narrative that there are only two sexes or genders, we tell the people that do not conform to those identities that they are wrong, that they are abnormal, that a part of themselves that they have no control over is broken and it somehow needs fixing. There are indeed a number of bigoted shitheads like Eagle Eye 1975, who is closing his channel because he wants to become a teacher to teach kids this sort of shit. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> there are people like him that flat out say that uh, being transgender is a mental disorder, just like a lot of people in the past would say the same thing about homosexuality. But that's not the people that are accepting, but just don't use the right words. So it's not just about special snowflakes getting upset because they can't use their pet pronoun. It's people being denied an essential part of their identity and forced to conform to what is considered normal for no other reason than an imbalance of power and a lack of empathy. Yes, there's an imbalance of power and you don't fix that by demonizing people. Especially people who are actually on your side, they just don't use the right words.